Okay, let me show you a really cool trick. So let's open up a template. I'll pick uh, this one's good. Okay, a few things I haven't gone over yet. And one of them is the format canvas, changing the size of the canvas here. So if we click it, you're gonna see a width slider that you can change the width and a height slider that you can change the height. Okay, so let's leave it pretty wide for now. If you have specific numbers, you can type them in here. Good for Facebook, if you know the size of Facebook. We'll get into that in another video. So we need to resize the graphics to fit the canvas. All we have to do is stretch everything. Okay, even, look at this, even the water is transparent. Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay, so format canvas has a width and a, and a height. Now the scale is pretty much used for if you're on a laptop, it'll, it'll scale down to fit your window. But if you wanted to see what a graphic like a thumbnail might look like, you can shrink it just to see. Kind of handy. I'm gonna go back up to 100. Now, here's the canvas color. If I click it, you'll notice that the canvas behind everything changes color, okay? Let's go back to black. So, pretty easy stuff. The good thing about the graphics creator is that you can experiment with all of these menu items and click on all these buttons. You're not gonna break anything. That's the beauty of it. Okay, you're also gonna see three check buttons, okay? This one we're gonna, we're gonna go over right now. If you click it, it's a grid. And this is the rule of thirds grid, meaning that if you notice every third line is thicker, okay? So that's thicker, that's thicker. And then on the horizontal, this one's a little thicker, that's a little thicker. And that's basically just to kind of line things up so that everything is even, okay? Just a nice little tool to have. And when you're done, go back to Format Canvas, uncheck the box. Awesome. Okay, one more thing we have to go over too is the undo and redo uh, options. So I've just messed up my graphic, but I'm gonna undo it to where it was before. I just gotta keep clicking on undo until it's back to normal. And in fact, I can go back all the way to the beginning of the graphic. Remember how I, I was resizing the, the canvas? Go all the way back to the beginning, okay? And if I decide that I liked what I wanted to do, I start going all the way back to the end of it, which was right about here, I think. Okay, so I can leave it here. That's a very powerful feature, the undo, the redo. Okay, let's look at the menus really quick. Most of these are self-explanatory. For example, the file menu, you can make a new design, which will make a blank canvas for you to start from scratch. You can save your design as another with another name. You can download your final image. So when I'm done with this, I'm gonna click on the download menu and I'll be able to name this, okay? I'll go over the transparent checkbox here in another video. And then I can hit download and it'll download into my downloads folder on my computer. And then I can use it for whatever I need to use it for. So for this part of the tutorial, I'm gonna focus on clicking on the edit menu. We'll go over some of these in a little while, but for now, I'm gonna show you what these shapes do. New rectangle, new triangle. I'm gonna delete it. But very quickly, I wanna show you a really cool trick with these shapes. So I'm gonna pick the circle, okay? And it makes this, you can obviously make it bigger, make it smaller. Over here, um, the menu will change to a shape menu now. Shape color, shape shadow, shape outline, okay? I can change the outline of it, right, easy. Now the cool thing with the shapes is that I can make I can make it a different color if I want to. Okay, easy. Or I can drag an image into the shape like this. I'm gonna come up here to photos and videos and I'll type in something like um, thumbs up. All right, and really quick, let's look. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Bring him over. He will come in tiled, but now I have to go over, over here to the shape color and I'm gonna set the width a little bit so that it's just one, one guy. And I can set the offset horizontally, vertically. 
okay? He is the CEO of this new beer. <laughs> and now I can uh, shrink it, I can turn it, right? Very cool. And now if I come over here and click this little X box to get rid of it, I'm going to create, whoops, I'm going to create some new text and I'm gonna say um, something like, I, uh, I approve. And then I'm gonna format this by going to the text format. I'm going to pick a Google font that I already know. I want the font dancing. Click it. And then I'm going to text format, set the spacing, and I'm going to set the outline very thin and I'm going to make the text color like yellow or something. Okay, and now I'm going to shrink this. I'm going to rotate it. And one thing I didn't teach you is that if I hold the shift key down, you'll notice that my arrow, it's an up facing arrow until I push the shift key on my keyboard and it turns into a side arrow. I can click and drag and make this italicized because this is his signature and he approves it. <laughs> let's come over here to text outline. Let's make that a little bit thicker because we want to see it and maybe even give it a shadow. All right, how cool was that? So stick with me a little longer and you're gonna learn some really cool things. See you on the next video.